Wherever you go, whatever you may do, may the angel within come shining through. Well, hello and welcome all my beautiful earth angels to the Angel Within Us podcast. I am your host, Jane Rinderer. A couple of weeks ago, I volunteered at our running club's annual organized half marathon on the Jersey Shore. I actually first ran it back in the early 80s. I've been running and participating in races for 50 years. Started running to get in shape for other sports I played, and it became an important part of my life. It got me through my insecurities, breakups, deaths, and many other of life situations. At first, I didn't think much of the many volunteers involved to hold various events, whether races, charity events, tutoring, Sunday school, elections, elderly care, child care, etc. There's unlimited volunteer opportunities. And as I got older and realized the true value of the unselfish giving of their time, I made sure I would thank them when I passed. Through the years, I have volunteered at races, cycling events, food banks, churches, and organized events for CCFA, but only recently I had to give up running due to physical issues. I've come to truly embrace the impact volunteers have had on my life and hope I can have the same impact on others. Many races I was not having one of my better days and volunteers would still make you feel like a champion just for showing up and giving it your best for that given day. Tend to your needs so you have a great experience. Their shifts lasting longer than the time I'm racing and withstanding all types of weather. So many activities and events wouldn't be possible without volunteers. Volunteers bring people together to share common interests and goals. To help the less fortunate, mostly without recognition. It's their angels within them shining their light to improve others' lives. I've enjoyed a couple of races, one in New Mexico and one in New Jersey, where while nearing end of races, once with a young girl struggling to finish, and I ran with her the last mile or so to encourage her, and the same with a young boy to help show them we're all in this together. Help them forget their pain and finish strong and enjoy a well-earned high five at the end. All I can hope for is that they repay the support somewhere in the future, helping build on the ripple effect of spreading God's love and light on all. While on the topic of supporting others during races, I would like to share a special incident. I was living in Florida and was doing a half marathon in Melbourne, Florida. Half mile from the finish, my body had a total meltdown and my legs totally seized up where I had no control of them. It put me in a hospital. So a month and a half later, I attempted my first race since the incident, not knowing what to expect. It was a 15K trail run. Well, the race fell on my deceased mother's birthday. So about a mile into the race, there was a small clearing between trees, and lo and behold, there was a happy birthday balloon floating loud and proud for me to see. My mom came to watch over me to let me know I'll be okay. And along with a young woman running behind me, who I kept telling her she can pass, she said she was good following behind me, making me feel like my old runner's self. So the angel within comes from many sources, but all serves the same purpose, enriching others' lives. So as always, 
I would love to hear and share your Angel Within Us stories. Email me at theangelwithinus at gmail.com. Also, I would like you to check out Christina M. Edder's new podcast, A Slice of Pie with Christina May, and can also be found on YouTube for short doses of inspiring messages and thoughts. Until next time, keep shining your angel within us light on all you meet to keep the ripple effect of God's love going. And God bless.